Welcome to Kitchen Table Talk Live with Philiboy TV. Listen, um, how is the sound in here? You all, how's the sound in here? Is there, do you all have an echo or is the sound pretty good? Let me come up here because I don't want you all to miss nothing. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How is my sound? I don't want to start and see my commentary and tell I know that the sound is good and you all can hear me well and see me well. Is he said there's something go? There's something going on. It should sure sounds good. I can hear you fine. A little rough. It's a little rough. Better now. Okay. All right. Let me see what I can do. Y'all bear with me one sec, okay? It's my fault. Okay. Bear with me. Let me clear this up for y'all. Hold on. Is that better? Okay, can you hear me now? Is it better now? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, cool. All right, so let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. I'll fix all that other stuff later. But I brought you here because there was some stuff going on on these internet streets. One of our favorites, <laughs> I'm being facetious, one of our favorites gone viral again. Gone viral yet again, yet again. And I, I pulled back. Because I saw, and I'm talking about Kim Burrell. I'm talking about Kim Burrell. So I saw what was kind of going on, and I said, okay. And I said, let me pull back for a second and see exactly what's going on. Because it looked like there was just a, a piece of a clip. And then I said, there's probably some more that's to this. And I said, if I give myself a chance and I slow down, we'll see what's really going on. And then I did, I seen more came out and I got both clips. And then there was a, a thing where some people felt like 
she's doing what she does usually and being out of order. And some people felt like, oh no, this time they're just like jumping on her for no reason. I know what I think, but I'm really, really interested to see what you all think. So that is why we are here at the kitchen table. Talk live. So, okay, listen, I'm going to play the first clip. This is the first clip that actually came out. This is Kim actually at a church ministering through her music, um, which is what she does. Now, you can't take that away. That's what she does. That's what she does. And for me, it came across rude, but some people didn't feel like it was rude. But let's just listen and we will, I'll talk about what it is I thought and then you all could tell me what you thought. Oh, Miss Kim, Miss Kim, Miss Kim. Here we go. Lift your hands when I say thank you. It's a solo, God's using me. Don't sing with me right now, Lord. I'm singing alone now. You, ma'am, ma'am, with that mask. Let that mask work for you. I'm singing alone. No, I'll be back. No, I'll call you when I'm ready. Now, let me tell you what I got out of the first clip. Okay. Kim literally pulled a person. Like you literally single out a person during a church service and embarrassed them. I mean, you I, I for me, I experienced secondhand embarrassment in that situation. Oh yeah, you saw that burn. You saw that broom because we're going to talk about how you all feel. But overall, this is Kitchen Table Talk with Spill It Boy TV live on the Spill It Boy TV channel. So, you know, I'm going to definitely give you what my feelings are. And I thoroughly and I thoroughly intend to clean her up, honey. I, ridiculous. She's ridiculous to me. But I experienced secondhand embarrassment for that person. The person was worshiping. Now, sometimes, you know, somebody's singing and somebody's singing over top of them. A little bit much, a little bit much. But again, remember, we are in church. And when we are in church, church is a safe space. Church is a safe space. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a safe space. So I just, I just don't feel at any time that there should be a, a, a direct attack on someone in church. I just don't feel that, you know? Um, and it goes into a lot of other things that actually has to do with Kim Burrell. Um, as far as like, it, it generally comes out, it's her in the LGBTQIA thing. Yes, we all know what is in the Bible and all of these things, but the attack, I mean, you can actually preach a sermon without attack. You can preach a sermon without attacking, okay? And this was just another time. She does it with the LGBTQIA thing. She does it just in general sometimes. Like she literally will start in about, things that are monetary and things that are, uh, you know, all this, I have this, I have that, the great I am, all this kind of stuff. So that clip had come out and I said, I'm going to slow down because I don't know what happened. Now, what happened next? What happened next? But who are you, ma'am? I'm singing alone. I'm, I'm worshiping alone. How are you worshiping alone in a church full of people? Now, yes, you you singing a solo. I got, I get it. I get it. But really? It, it was just kind of rude. It was kind of rude. And 
I know I just felt some kind of way myself. And I was like, well, maybe you are being a little harsh because you know how you and the, the whole chem thing, you know, it's just, it's always one thing after the other, after the other, after the other. With Kim, I just think Kim is just rude. I think she's rude. I think she uses the Bible to victimize people. I think she, I think she's really unnecessary personally, but, you know, talented and people, there's some people that just love it. And you know, the people that love Kim Burrell, people who don't, People have been, who have not been in her crosshairs yet. That's who actually likes Kim Burrell. You know, but that's that's like kind of like human nature. If they're not attacking you, then it's pretty much cool. You know, and I and I'm I'm guilty. I'm guilty of it because if somebody's not bothering me, then you know, nine times out of ten, I ain't coming after them. You know, if it, but I'm not cheering it on either. You know, but. Kim is just those groups of people who she hasn't, who she hasn't attacked yet. They're the ones that are always like, oh yeah, Kim. But I think she's rude. I think she's rude. And it's getting worse and worse. It's getting worse and worse each year. Anyway, let me give you the second part. Because I started seeing, you know, people doing commentary and saying, well, you didn't get the whole thing. You, didn't, you don't know what's really going on because you only got a part of a clip. Yeah, that is social media. Well, here's the other part of the clip. Um, well, it's not that part of that clip, but this is, I saw the part of the clip where she ends up calling this woman up later on, and then she just embarrassed the lady again, as far as I was concerned. She had the lady singing with her after she basically browbeat her again. I don't have that part of the clip, but I have the part where she came back and she actually talked about it after she went viral again. We will talk about that too. Take a look at this second piece here. When I tell you the year has started just the way we needed it to do. So here is the narrative. I'm in the middle of ministry and you know how you close out a sermon and I'm singing, thank you Lord. I'm thinking that I'm singing a solo and you always got that one, that one that has to join you. And I heard her, y'all, and she was singing, and I was just going for it. Thank, ma'am, because I'm operating in the things of the Spirit. Sometimes when I operate publicly, everybody doesn't understand the dispensation of what I operate in. They just see me as Kim the singer who's not being the singer, who is not always the singer. I'm the preacher. I'm the person with the gift of the prophetic. But anyway, so I'm sitting there singing, and I keep hearing her. And then the man in front of her said, she's trying to tell you, ma'am. So this was somebody who was disconnected in the service, but it was cool. But if you go further into the video, you're going to see what happened. I pulled her up, and then she went to dancing. What a time we had. I want to tell everybody, COVID is starting to rise again. Just like I told her, let that mask work for you. If you've been with me any length of time, then you know this little saying, backpedaling and pussy popping. That's exactly what Kim was doing. You wanted to explain away how rude you were. Here, when she first, the first time she opened her mouth on the, that second part, the first line I said, I ain't jumped too fast. This is Kim doing what Kim does. Kim hasn't been in our mouth lately. Kim knows how to go viral. That's all there's to it. That's all there's to it. I say all the time, Little Nas X is one of the fiercest, one of the most effective internet trolls that there is. God damn it. Kim Burrell is right up there with him. Kim Burrell, if you ever notice, there will be a, a, a bit of time goes by and then all of a sudden, boom, another viral video from Kim Burrell doing some 
old off the wall, stupid stuff. Sometimes it'll happen when, you know, like when she fell off them boots. Now she didn't plan that. She embarrassed herself when she fell off them boots and then she was rude to the people telling them about how much they cost. I don't care how much they cost. They threw your ass down. But that she didn't mean to do. But these little things like this that she does, Kim knows what she be doing, I, and I'm convinced of it. I'm convinced of it. My name's been out of the out of the, the limelight. I need to go back in, and you know, because a troll doesn't mind bad press at all, as long as they're talking about you. And I'm sitting here thinking, does Kim have a song or something coming out? Is there something that Kim is advertising? Or something that Kim has that's getting ready to pop. And that's why she's putting herself out there. I don't think it's just by chance. I think Kim is trolling. She's pulling a little Nas X on us. And that's just what Kim gives. That is what Kim gives. And then she's in everybody's mouth. And she was so happy to be. She was so happy to be. And everybody, she's just grinning and smiling in that clip. And the very first thing she said, this year is starting off just like we thought. Who's we? Who's we, Kim? Who is we? Well, because it's not me and you, because I didn't discuss it with you. So who is we? Then the whole thing about the, the, the COVID mask, that was the backpedaling, the pussy popping. Just like I told her, no, Kim, you weren't talking about no COVID <coughs> with no mask. What you was telling her was let that mask work for you, which meant shut your goddamn mouth. Let it cover your mouth and you shut up. That's what you meant by the mask. And we all knew it. You were rude. Oh, what a time we had. Girl, don't play church with me. Do not play church with me what no oh what no time you had you embarrassed that woman you spoke down to that woman and then when you came in to come back to respond to the fact that you were going viral and people were reaching for your skull again as usual it was oh it wasn't what you thought oh she came back down oh yes we sang you browbeat that woman some more when she came down to saying, yeah, you did. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Now, when it was time not to be saying nothing, you was, uh, and then now you don't want to say that. Browbeating her, embarrassing her again. Embarrassing her again. And if I was that woman, you know what I would do for that nice, lovely piece of church that they were in? As she's a part of some church group or some choir. She actually performs, too. The lady. I would never lend my gift to that church house again. I wouldn't. I would. You bring this clown in here and have her speak to me any old kind of way. I would take my gift and I would move on. I would. Because, see, that's what you could do when God gives you gifts. You take your gifts and you can go home. You can go home. Y'all call Kim every week. Let Kim come down and sing for you every week. Because she going to embarrass you down to the church house, not once, but twice in one service. Kim is nasty, nasty, nasty. And all I heard was, I am, I am. I'm the one with the voice. I'm the one with the prophetic gift. I'm the one. Yes, you're the one who's full of shit, Kim. You're the one. You're the one that I wouldn't stand close to. I wouldn't stand close to Kim Burrell for love or money. I would not. I would not, because I don't know what day the lightning bolt's going to come down and tear Kim's ass up. Kim is some type of nasty. And the thing is, her things that she does, has anybody noticed it gets worse as the years go on? Because she believes her own hype. And that's one thing down at the church. You know, the mothers of the church don't feel like they do no wrong. You ain't never noticed that? The mothers of the church are some of the nastiest things that the church actually has to offer. Oh, y'all don't like this type of teacher. 
the mothers of the church because see once you know they get to a certain age they just feel like they just say whatever they want and that's where kim is just resting herself right into i say what i want i carry on however much i want and then with just the way she spoke of it she wasn't apologetic she didn't feel like she did nothing wrong she didn't feel like she did anything wrong no matter what anybody said and she's on this internet and she sits down here she reads the comments she knows what we say about her she knows she knows but is she ever really apologetic or does she always have an old nasty piece of bp and pp to throw back at us all i've ever known kim to do is double down on some stuff that she did even dating back to sunday's best Kim will double down on what she does. She is just nasty. She's nasty. Sanctified and nasty. That's her. That is her. Absolutely ridiculous. But when she said about the woman, you know, there's always that one. That one what, Kim? That one what? So you're not equal. Because that's all I heard in the last part. I am, I am, I am. There's always that one, which means you're not on my level. I would not worship anywhere where Kim is. I would be deathly afraid, deathly afraid. And not of what Kim, because trust me, Kim, she and child, I would have no problem tongue wrestling with Kim. So I wouldn't worry about Kim saying anything to me or trying to make me feel no kind of way. She could never, she could never. But just being in a place worshiping with that type of foolishness. I don't play around with people like that who are who say they are of the cloth. I don't I don't play like that. I don't claim to be the great I am. I don't claim to be nothing but me. I got my own relationship with the creator. He and I talk all the time. We have good conversations. I don't claim to be anything. I don't all I can ever give you is what my belief system is. All I can ever do is share with you the goodness of God that I know. That's all I can ever do. I ain't trying to tell you how to walk. I ain't trying to tell you nothing. Now, if you say something stupid, I will bring you back. Like if you start that old God don't love the gays, you're going to have a problem with me because I know better. See, I know better. I'm a living, breathing, walking testimony, so I know better. I'm not just gay. I'm gay, gay. Like, I'm gay, gay. And um, me and that man got a whole thing going, a whole thing going. And not one time has he ever led me to believe that he don't like me, don't care for me, or don't intend for me to be here. So if you start talking some stupid stuff like that, then, yeah, you'll have an issue with me. But I'm not getting ready to tell you how to how to do your worship or how to run your, your relationship. All I know how to do is be me, praise my way, worship my way and chill and don't, don't cross him. That's, that's all I know, you know, but I know that I, I wouldn't feel comfortable. I would not feel comfortable being anywhere where she is in a pulpit talking about she can't speak over me and if she put her hands on me i'll break her goddamn arms do not touch me do not touch me get away from me don't try to pray over me none of that don't mm -mm, kim nope the only time you can sing for me kim is if you just singing you giving a concert see i ain't buying no ticket to come see you but if you, if I just happen to walk up on you and you singing a little something, that's fine. But if you think you ministering and you say, no, it ain't happening, Captain. I'm getting up and I'm moving on because you not get ready. You ain't darker than my doorway, sister. Something about her. It just, she just, she just ain't right. She is just not right at all. That is actually how I feel. I told you all that I will tell you how I feel. I'm looking in these comments and I see um, some of y'all, I, I, I'm, I'm seeing what y'all are saying, you know, and it looks as though most of you all feel the same way I feel. This, this right here, 100%, she's ushering bad spirits 
I wouldn't trust the energy anywhere near her. Yeah, don't touch me with your possession. Listen, listen, I don't play those games. I don't play those games. Y'all see me and hear me do a whole lot. Listen, I am a vicious shit talker. Vicious shit talker is what I do. It's what I'm known for. Down here, I talk to my shit. And if you piss me off, I might really talk some shit. But at the end of the day, my mama ain't raised no fools at all. And it just, just certain things, you know, there's always a limit to, to everything. There's always a limit to everything. And people who are, it, when you when you sense it, I guess it's what they call discernment. When you sense it, you get away from it. When you sense that it's not right, you need, when, when that little voice talks to you, in your ear, tap you on your shoulder, you need to move. And I don't know about you all, but when somebody don't feel right, even in a church setting, I wouldn't care. I, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing I've walked out of my church mid, mid message. If that message ain't hitting right and it ain't sounding right and it depends on who the message is coming through, Baby, I have gotten up, listen, and punched it. You understand me? I will never forget. Let me take y'all down this road. My pastor, my pastor and his wife, they have actually both transitioned, okay? She was an apostle and he was a bishop. You understand? And that was from my home church. And baby, I've been called in to sit with, the apostle. She's like, now you know. You, so you got up and you walked out. She said, you know you can't. I said, why can't I? Why can't I? I said, I understand you may not have liked it. And I mean no disrespect. You know, I love you like a mother. But how your spirit leads you, all that stuff you taught me, my spirit led me. And my feet and legs lifted me up and out the door I had business. So no, you may not have liked it, but it was time for me to go. It was time for me to go. I had to go. I had to go. And I mean no disrespect, but I needed to go. It wasn't just the message. It was the message and it was who it was coming through. It did not sit right with me. And it just didn't feel right. And I couldn't sit through not near another piece of it. And it actually did not. The bullets weren't even for me. They weren't for me. But I. So, oh no, baby, I got. I got to go and up and out of there. You come to church, you're supposed to leave church feeling better than you did when you came into church. Hello, somebody. You are not supposed to, the church is like the hospital, right? You're not supposed to come into the church and leave the church feeling worse than you felt when you came in the church. I ain't put my finger up, D. <laughs> D said, did you put your, your church finger up? No, I was getting out of there too fast, baby. I gave this, honey. I was getting out of there too fast. It just what because it felt like some of that was going to come out my mouth. That's why I said it's time to go. Because I was, you know, it, what was forming in my mouth tasted like, bitch, what? That, and you know, that ain't good on a Sunday morning. And your best clothes. That, now, that's what I'm talking about. And I'm sure she was more happy with me walking on out then to hit one of them. You know, it just wasn't right. And it's happened more than once. And she said, no, you know. And that you would have had to know her. Like, like to know her was to love her. The apostle was something else. And she would say, what am I going to do with you? <laughs> keep teaching. Keep teaching and keep loving on me the way I love on you. But you just got, I can't, I can't give you nothing that I don't have. And I don't have that. I don't have that to do, you know? 
I can't go to, I'm not going to go any deeper into that. One day, maybe I'll do a whole story time and really di dish all the tea on that situation, but, or some of those situations, but yeah, I've had my time at church, baby, where, mm -mm, play around like that. I don't play around with my, I am responsible for my spirituality, period. I am, oh, I'm old. I'm not, you know, once I was past 18, 19 and all that, it wasn't on my mama no more. I'm responsible for my own spirituality. And if it don't feel right, I got to raise up. I got to raise up. And you really don't need nobody to tell you. You know, once you start to learn and, and all that, you know, you know, you know when to move and how to move. Your body will tell you. Your body will tell you. Just like you bust out and you find yourself shouting and carrying on. Don't nobody tap you on the shoulder and say, it's time to move. No, your spirit will move you. It's, I don't even know how we got all the way on to all of this, but whatever. We here now. Ain't that's kind of how it work, ain't it? We here now. We here now. And I hope I'm not offending anybody. You know, if I am, you at my kitchen table. So, you know, if your spirit moves you to get up and move, the door's that way. And I won't take it, you know, no offense. You come back on the next video when I'm talking, talking mess about something else. But yeah, when it's time to do whatever it is, everything that's attached to your spirituality, don't you don't you, you don't need that. All you need, like the apostle and the bishop, all they did was they they were able to lead me to, you know, to make sure that I was forming the relationship and that I knew what it was when I seen it and that kind of thing. That's their job, you know, and your parents' job as you're growing up. But once once you get it and it's on you, everything from there. The actual bill is really on you and you got to do what feels natural. You do what feels natural. You don't do what you've seen somebody else do. You don't do what you, you think somebody might want you to do. You do what feels natural and that's the only way you'll be filled. That's all. That's all. Ain't nobody else got to like it. Ain't nobody else got to understand it. Ain't nobody else got to sit up underneath it and sit in it but you. Period. Period. I was my um church was non-denominational, dreadful Nick. It was non-denominational. So I love another part of my family, actually, the, a big part of my family is Kojic. Another video for another time. <laughs> Love them too, though. And I, I do, I would visit, I would visit Kojic Church too. But it just, it is what it is. But a Kim Burrell, and, and I've, and I've encountered people that are like him, you know, that have a gift of song and their message is not always good. And guess what I do, baby? I always take my self, my flawed self. And I pull up and I exit stage left. Because if the lightning bolt comes down, I won't be the one to tell the story about being right there on it. I'll tell the story about what I heard because I'll be in my car, period. And on that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to leave this alone. Um. I ain't got no more. I ain't got no more. I I don't I, I don't feel like she was falsely accused. I feel as though she was trolling. I feel as though she was being nasty. I feel as though the nastiness came very easy to her because that's her normal. Um, and I believe she intended to do it. I think it was all by design. All by design. Everything, even the re, the the response. All by design. She when she opened up her mouth and said, "This year's starting off just like that." Sound like a plan to me. That sound like a plan from a foolish woman. Plan, plan. Anyway, all right, you all listen. Thank you for hanging out at my kitchen table. I'll talk with y'all next time. Mm, mm, mm. Kim, stop being so nasty, child. You're going to get something that can't none of us give you nor undo. Just keep on. Keep on doing like you're doing, honey. You're going to get it, girl.
Everything you promised and everybody else, honey, all that fire and brimstone, girls, all going to be burning in your girdle, honey. Keep it up. Just keep it up. Good night, you all. Y'all have a good one. I will talk to y'all next time. Later. And, and, and feel like